Hello folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to display text on the screen in Pygame. Pygame doesn't have built-in functionality for drawing text. This is something we have to add in ourselves. The way this works is that we take text in the form of a string, then we render that text into an image, and lastly we draw or blit the image onto the screen. All of this can be achieved by creating our own helper function. Here I have a basic Pygame program set up with the game window, the game loop, and the event handler. I also use the fill function to put a white background onto the screen and the flip function to refresh the screen so the text shows up. Now I can start creating the helper function. I'm going to do this outside of the while loop. So I'll create it above it here and I'll create it by saying def draw underscore text and then I can pass in the arguments that we'll need for this. The first argument is the actual text that I want to display. The second one is the font that I want to use for this. The third one is the color that I want to use for my text. And then the last two are the X and the Y coordinates to display this text on. The next thing to do is take that text that is being passed into this function and convert it into an image. We'll save it into a new variable called IMG. And this will be equal to font, which is being passed in as a second argument, and then the render function. This is a built-in Pygame function and it takes a few arguments. The first one is the text that we want to display as an image. The second one is a boolean that we would typically set to true. This gives the text characters smoother edges and makes them look a bit nicer. And then the third argument is the color, text call, which we pass in as an argument above. With that done, the final step of this function is to blit the image onto the screen. We do that by saying screen.blit first argument is the image that we're blitting, and the second one is the x and y coordinates. Now we can simply call this function whenever we want to easily display text on the screen. However, we don't have all of the arguments available to us. The second one here, font, is something that needs to be defined. Before we can use this function, we need to create a font. I will define a variable called text underscore font, and I will make it equal to pygame.font.sys font. In here we pass in the font name. I'm going to pass in Arial and then the size of the font. So I'll go with 30. There are a few other flags that you can pass in here, but we'll come back to that a little bit later on. For now, let's see if we can call this draw text function within the game loop. So we'll come down here and just after we fill the screen with a white background, I'm going to call that function. I'll say draw underscore text and then start passing in the arguments. The first one is the text I want to display, so I need to put that in quotes, and I will just say hello world. Then I can pass in the font I created, which is text font. Then I can pass in the color. This is an RGB value, and I will just use black, which is 0, 0, 0. And then lastly is the X coordinate 220 and the Y coordinate of 150. And now we can run this, and we should see hello world being displayed on the screen. And there you have it, a working text function. But there is still a lot more functionality we can add to this. So let's take a deeper look at the font module. When creating the font object, I used the sysfont function because I called in a system font to be installed on your machine. But Pygame comes with its own font. To load that, we simply pass none into here without any quotations. If I run this again, you'll see the font changes slightly. You can also add extra flags into this function after the first two arguments. So these are to make the font bold and italic. So let's try the first one. We'll say bold is equal to true. And now you can see the font has gone really thick and bold. And I can add another one, which is italic is equal to true. And now the font is bold and italic. And this works best if the font already has a bold and italic version installed. When it doesn't, Pygame tries to create its own version of that, which doesn't always have great results. So those are the system fonts, but what if you want to use a third party font that you download from the internet? Well, I've downloaded the font from the Turok game and I've put it into the same folder as this Pygame file. So to load it in, the only thing I need to change is this section here. I get rid of the sys because it's no longer a system font, it's just a font and then pass in the file name. Well, because that font is in the same folder as this Python file, I don't need to do anything other than just add the file name, which is turok.ttf. And if we run this, you'll see that the font has changed to that custom Turok font that I downloaded. And that is how you draw text in Pygame. If you found this video useful, then please leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.